Hello everyone, and welcome to a game with a name that I dare not try to pronounce. This is a 3D platformer where the goal is to collect 20 golden clovers spread across three worlds. It's a heavily movement-focused 3D platformer with its movement obviously inspired by pretty much every 3D Mario game. That said, the movement has its own nuances, for example, momentum from a long jump multiplies with each successive long jump, and the spin attack definitely has its own unique physics to it, independent of Mario's. The game is also certainly no less than its inspiration, and it controls just as well as a first-party Nintendo title. If anything, it might even have a leg up on some Mario games because its simplified control scheme and the ease of chaining moves together makes the fluidity a bit easier. Even in the instances where you're constantly goofing something up, it still feels like poetry in motion. The hazards and obstacles are also lovingly created so that, although you can tackle them in a rather basic fashion, it's also possible to totally show off and get your delicious movement juices all over everything by either moving faster than you think is reasonable, or just by wall spin dive jumping to a ledge you were pretty sure you were supposed to use platforms to reach. The developer's discord has a speedrunning section which definitely seems to imply that he knows how robust this movement system is. The level design is also nothing to scoff at, with the first world being a linear playground to get you used to the controls, as is to be expected. The second world being an icy mountain with a variety of goofy gimmicks and objectives that feels more like a traditional 3D Mario platforming level. And the third world has the trickiest jumps and the most movement-based hazards, making it the most difficult of the three for its sheer platforming challenge. Worlds 2 and 3 are also cleverly designed so that they loop back around on themselves frequently. This means you can swiftly access anywhere from just about anywhere else with a few skillful jumps. It's hard to think of many complaints as of yet, and considering this is a pre-alpha, that's pretty bonkers. There are many 3D platformers I've played, both indie and major, which would kill to release for money in a state as good as this. The demo you're seeing is available for download for free on Steam, but honestly it's so good like this, I would just consider it a small game in its own right, right now. The developer's Kickstarter to fund the project failed, but I've been told that they're not giving up and will instead focus on development through other avenues, which I look forward to seeing. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the game, and I hope you decide to give it a shot while you can, because honestly you have nothing to lose by giving it a try.